It is a Gymshark Christmas miracle. We have more legacy. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know about you, but Gymshark's legacy collection, I don't know if I would say it's underrated. I think it's rated just right. You guys seem to love it. Fun fact, the legacy collection actually started off as just a men's collection. I recall back in 2019, I used to steal Bay's legacy stringer. I would tie it up, try to make it my own. Not long after, Gymshark created the women's legacy collection. Thank goodness. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. That is right, I'm coming at you today with brand new Gymshark Legacy that will be dropping Thursday, December 8th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Each time they come out with a new Legacy drop, it just keeps getting better and better. But before we get into it, a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you in part by Ebby. Ebby is my favorite underwear brand of all time. For those who don't know, Ebby specializes in seamless intimates. And if you've been watching my channel, you would know I rave about them. They are by far my favorite undies to be wearing underneath leggings or any form-fitted clothes. Today, I wanted to share with you their mesh collection. I have their seamless sheer thong and their seamless sheer bralette. Let's chat about the mesh bralette. Not only does it give you a one inch lift, but it also has a wire free support. So very comfortable for all day wear and not to mention the slip proof technology. The mesh thongs are perfect for wearing underneath your leggings at the gym. They're very functional and they're sexy as hell. They have the signature gripped lining, so no rolling, bunching. What makes these super unique is the breathability, their signature no slip grip that's on the lining of the undies. These are made from 82% nylon and 18% spandex, so check out that stretch. Very comfortable. I wear a size small in all of Ebby, but don't get it twisted, they don't just have black. Check out this lime punch color. They also have a really vibrant hyper pink, coral pink, and a real dreamy Caribbean sea. They also just dropped a reptile stripe. That one I need to get my hands on. That is feisty. Nothing goes better with a pair of mesh undies than an animal print. And keep in mind, they don't just have thongs. They have something for everybody. No matter what your style preference is, they have briefs, high cut, high waisted briefs. Keep in mind the deadline for Ebby is December 8th if you're thinking about purchasing for a Christmas gift. December 8th is the cutoff to make sure that they can get it to you before Christmas. So definitely give them a check. I'll have them linked down below. Feel free to use my code AshleyGata for 15% off of your entire order. Let's first talk about what they're dropping. I'll share the pieces that I have today, and then we'll go into a full try on. Talk about the fit, the feel, all that good stuff. So here's what's dropping December 8th. We're looking at legacy tanks, long sleeve tops, crop tops, loose fit shorts, pullovers, leggings, sports bras, and ruched tight shorts. So as you can see, a lot of the pieces remain the same. Again, just improved in my opinion. They also added in some things like the pullover, for example. That is a sick piece and we'll get into it in just a second. So here's what I have today. I have one of every single piece that I mentioned except for the tank top, whatever. <laughs> Not a huge deal. I'm here for the bra, the shorts, the leggings, you know, the big hitters. Let's start with the sports bra. So I'm wearing the pebble gray, and I also have the Hoya green. Similar to the previous Legacy launch where they dropped Legacy bandeau bras, this one's a little bit different, a little more improved. Here's why. Now we have thicker straps, first and foremost. None of those little spaghetti straps. These thick straps are adjustable like the previous launch. However, they added in a little twist here. Literally, you can twist this baby up. You can create a racer back. See how it's very straightforward strapping? You can actually detach the front straps here, not the back, just the front like so. You can crisscross them now. You can also go asymmetrical, which I did in my latest reel. You guys seem to really like that style. And you also have some seam breakup now. They did remain consistent with the overall logo. So you have the Gymshark lifting club printed on. They kept it tonal. I don't know about you, but I feel like tonal is just the way to go from here on out. You're able to add that sweet little touch, have that nice logo we all love, but it not be overwhelming. They also made it slightly higher coverage, so the girls aren't hanging out as much. Overall, I feel 10 times more secure in this one. I actually wore this bra with the leggings to the gym, held up wonderfully. They added on little grippers on the inside of the straps. The grippers are little shark heads. Right on, wearing the Hoya green with the Hoya green. Love what they did with the bra. Bandeau, but better. Sometimes I feel a little weird wearing a bandeau to the gym where I'm like, oh, 
you know, you feel like, oh God, like it's kind of like a tube top. Now I feel like this is more acceptable for lifting because I mean, if you're in that deadlift, now you can actually be comfortable. So like I said, I wore this bra to the gym and it held up really well. Now this is still a low support sports bra, but I will say that it felt 10 times more supportive than the regular bandeaus that they offer. So I'm wearing my true size small, definitely true to size. If you're in between, I think you could get away with sizing down, especially if we have similar measurements. Again, these are adjustable straps, so I think you should be okay in that department. However, if you do size down, I think you run the risk of a little more side boob, a little more of this digging in right here, because this is not adjustable right here on the back. So keep that in mind. If this is of concern to you, then if you're in between size up, if it's not, then I think you could get away with sizing down if you're in between. A big difference from this launch compared to the previous launch is the acid wash design. So let's take a look at the boxy crop top. This is again in the Hoya green color. I'm so happy to see them coming out with the long sleeve tops, the crop tops, and all the additions that you can add to your leggings and bra. I think it's important if you want a whole matching cohesive set. But let's take a look at this acid wash. I feel like it takes an already badass piece and just elevates it. It just makes it look like this piece has been worn. It's seen a lot of gym. That's what you want when you're lifting, right? You wanna feel rugged, you wanna feel badass. Now I could be wrong, but I feel like like they got this inspiration from their recent men's power drop. They got a bunch of those new pieces. He loved the acid wash. I feel like they said, you know what? We're gonna take that and give a little bit to the ladies. This is actually a really super cropped crop top. <laughs> a lot of the boxy tops I'm used to from Gymshark say like the training fraction crop top. They tend to come a little bit lower. So this one's a little, I mean, check it out. Like you can see my bra. I think the fit is super comfortable and lightweight. Even though you feel that real cottony feel, there's so much stretch in here, which makes it comfortable to wear and actually move around in. Now I am wearing a size small. I would not size up or down. I think it's very true to size. What I do appreciate is the relatively wide neckline we have going on here. It's not snug up against your neck. I mean, keep in mind, you're sitting here working out or at least warming up in this. You wanna maintain that comfort. And I think they did a really good job of that. I also grabbed a long sleeve. Now keep in mind, if you're looking at the long sleeves, the logos are a lot smaller than say the crop tops. They enlarged the logo, here's a little comparison, on the crop tops and then shrunk it up on the long sleeves. They're nearly the same exact thing. This is a regular fit and the crop top's more of a boxy fit. Now, this is not the type of long sleeve I would wear to a gym. This I don't wanna sweat in. <laughs> No, not, not, not very much so. This is actually more fashion based for me than anything else. The long sleeve, this is something I will legitimately wear with leggings and a jacket, a beanie, and wear it for the winter season. Still has that consistent stretch like the crop top. This isn't a size small. I do think if you prefer a more form fit, you can get away with sizing down. If you're somebody who wants really oversized, you love that real baggy fit, go up a few sizes. Why not? We've got to take a look at the pullover. I actually grabbed it in black. So this is a regular fit. You actually have a little bit of a tapered waist here. This is a very high neck pullover, bordering on turtleneck. You also have drop arm sleeves, kangaroo pockets, and a tapered waist. You can see how it cinches in right around the waist. Very plain on the front. The back is where it's at. This is where you're going to see that massive Gymshark logo. Again, they kept it tonal. I'm so happy about that. They say that this is a regular length pullover. I beg to differ. I think it depends on your torso. <laughs> For me, it might look like a regular length, but to my tall gals with the long torsos, this might be a little bit cropped, show a little bit of tummy. It depends. The kangaroo pocket really makes it because I naturally want to put my hands in something. And when there's no pocket, I feel like left out. I'm just like, I feel hopeless. Really love the slouch here. I think the drop sleeves with this cinched waist really just gives a beautiful silhouette. You have more of a broader upper body and then you just get that waist snatched. The neckline is very comfortable. It's not suffocating or tight. There's a lot of extra room here. Very spacious. I think my true size small is perfect. I wouldn't size down and I wouldn't size up. Unlike the cropped shirt, this is a really beautiful length where it's not cropped on me at all. Let me see what happens when I lift my hands up. Okay, so it's cropped now. I wouldn't wear this to the gym, obviously. I would just wear this more fashionably. In this footage, I feel like the black, you really can't see the large legacy branding. Can you see that? 
This is a very subtle piece, especially this color. It's not as noticeable that acid wash in the darker black, but yeah, it's still there. In case you're wondering about the feel, it's still super lightweight. This is not a heavy piece. The inner lining is the exact same material as the Power Sweats, the ones that just recently launched the jogger set. If you've tried that, then that will give you a really good representation of what this piece is like. All right, are you guys ready to talk about the new Legacy shorts? This is a fan favorite. Why? Because of this ruching on the side, the overall fit is so good. We're looking at a high depth waistband, no seam at the top. Where they added the seams was the back we're about to get into right now. <laughs> Check out this backing. So we have some silhouette seam placement, a V seam to arch the glutes, and then they even added in another seam right underneath the V seam. So right above the glutes still, I think it's just to keep the shorts from sliding. You have a side seam panel and right on the bottom is a little adjustable toggle so you can make your shorts a little bit shorter if you'd like. Overall, they are a five inch inseam. Let's talk shorts. I can see why these are a fan favorite. There's not a whole ton of dig going on here. Again, true size small, very true to size. And you know me, typically I size up to a medium and tight fit shorts. I get really insecure right around here. These shorts are very acceptable for me. They're not making me feel any type of way. I'm not feeling any crazy cinch or dig going around on the thigh area. I think they're overall super flattering. Not a lot of compression going on in the waistband. Keep that in mind. I don't mind but if this is important to you when it comes to lifting and working out this is not going to have that heavy compression for shorts that have seams everywhere you don't feel them not even on the side paneling where there's a ton of seams going on here even on the back where there's a lot of different placements i'm not feeling any weird seam dig now if i had to be very picky right here on the panel where the toggle is this string you can see through the shorts so it looks like there's something in a pocket even though there's no pocket here. Now, I'm not an expert with short shorts because I typically don't wear them, but let's go ahead and see how short I can make these. And I don't know what to do with the rest of the string, so I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> I'd say it's now three inches rather than five inches. It is still flattering, but again, like this is not my go-to style. I don't think that this feature is super useful for me. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of it, nor do I think I'll ever actually use it. Let's go ahead and check out the roll test. Very good. No gaping in the band. I overall think that these are really well constructed for the gym. Nearly 100% squat proof on me. Two thumbs up. Overall, as long as I'm wearing them untoggled, or whatever the fuck you call it, uncinched, as long as they're at my comfort level, I'm good. Now I know what you're thinking. These are not 90s mom jean shorts, although they look like it. These are the legacy loose fit shorts. I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna be like the last launch where it was very plush inside, very thick cottony kind of feel. These are nothing like that. These are thin, they look like freaking denim in this lakeside blue color for real. These are very loose fit. Look at them, they're huge. We have two pockets, a draw cord right in the middle. I think the acid wash on this waistband looks sick, nasty. It really gives that retro vibe better than anything I've seen so far today. And right on the bottom left corner is where you will see the Tonal Legacy logo. I feel like this is exactly what my grandpa used to wear. Now I do dig the color, the acid wash, replicating the 80s denim look, especially that bagginess. I just don't know if it looks right on me. Now I definitely, absolutely would roll this down just one at least. Can't get away with a couple because it's gonna look funky. Again, these are so lightweight. They feel like a feather and they're still relatively stretchy. Look at that. So it's not like it's stiff material where it's like, oh God, it's awkward. This is a really comfortable fit and it flows nicely on the back. Look at that. There's a bit of a difference between the legacy shorts and the leggings. Do you wanna know what the big difference is? The scrunch bum. So the legacy leggings have the natural scrunch, whereas the shorts don't. Why not? <laughs> Can't you put them on the shorts too? Come on now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little bit disappointing because I am a huge lover of this natural scrunch bum. But I do have to say that the legacy scrunch is so much more subtle than the power scrunch. It doesn't have that cat butthole effect. It's so perfect. It reminds me of being just as natural and beautiful as the Whitney scrunch. So that's why I think they should just add them onto the shorts too. 
why not? In terms of seams on the back, they kept everything super consistent. Obviously there's no toggle on the leggings and they went a little more minimal on the seam placement on the side. The leggings were very comfortable to work out in, straight up. I think the seams really work back here. The placement is very focalized and I do think that it's intentional to help keep these leggings up while you work out. I noticed that there was no dipping in the back. All right, so while I'm squatting, because I did do leg day in these, there was no dipping, no sliding back here. Ironically enough, I felt the little bit of sliding in the front. Especially when I'm sitting, I can kind of feel right here, the band wants to make its way down a little bit. It was not terrible, you know, you just kind of shimmy them up a little bit. Super squat proof, so I think this is a very gym friendly legging. I would definitely say it's way more gym friendly than even the power collection. Other than that, it still fits the same compression wise as the shorts, very decent length. It was a little bit long at first, but you can shimmy these up. There's a lot of nice stretch in here. Stuck with a small, wouldn't change a thing about that. All right guys, so that concludes today's legacy video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. Let me know, comment down below what you're looking to snag on the 8th, if anything. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.